Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode 195. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Ro. Hello, happy people. Hey there, Ro. How are you doing, man? Slowly but surely, slowly but surely. Ah, slowly but surely. And also joining us is Ty and Daga. Hello. Hey there, Ty. How are you doing? Doing pretty good. How about you, Norman? I <coughs> could be better. My, <laughs> uh, I ate something that disturbing my voice. So yeah. Aww. But I'm good. How has everyone been doing? Like, how is everyone's week? I have done nothing but listen to Undertale Mimics for three days. <gasps> you play Undertale? I played only once, and I'm listening to remixes. Oh, the music is so good. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, I need help. <laughs> no, you don't need help. Just embrace it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Timmy song. You I mean, Timmy. Timmy, Timmy. Yeah. Timmy, Timmy. Which one is it? Timmy. Uh, Timmy. 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 It's for item shop. <laughs> item shop. <laughs> I didn't even That's get that. Tem now. shop, <laughs> item shop. It's that obvious, folks. Hey, I, I... tutorials, tutorial, and Azriel Dremor is a serial murderer. What? Oh, that's that. That's the. That's his, that's what his actual name is. A serial murderer, Azriel Dremor, whatever. Serial murderer. See. <laughs> wow. I, I didn't even know. Yeah, like <laughs> you're you do now. To the world now. Yeah, look at <laughs> more. Look. You know. Look at, no, look at that. Ro teaching us stuff. Wow. God, yeah, we're, we're I'm on the internet it. every day, man. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't like have those. a girlfriend. <laughs> I, I like bone scuffle. That's fun. Bone you mean bone trussle? Bone scuffle? Tr- 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 what is it? The original song name is Bone Trussle. Bone, bone scuffle is a remix by DM Kokura, was it? I'm yeah. Gonna, yeah, DM Dokuro, sorry. That's bone Ooh. scuffle. I like that one, man. That, that, that's good. The beat on that one's strong. Especially the spooky scary skeletons cameo in the beginning yeah. of the song. In the yeah. middle of the song. Let's so, see, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, about 12, 13 remixes of Bone Trussle. Wow. <laughs> about 12... Remix of Megalovania and about five, seven of the Spider Dance. Oh, and some, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve, twelve, fourteen ish of Death by Glamour. <laughs> it, Those are my favorite like songs. A, you probably have like 24 hours worth of just songs that loop. <laughs> <laughs> um, over to, you have no idea. <laughs> I'm scared. This to is only my playlist. You don't. I also have archives and folders which are divided into stuff I love and will play on loop until the end of my days, stuff that I like for the beat, stuff that I keep for a rare occasion, stuff that I'm wondering why did I download it, and stuff like, how the heck did it get in here? (laughs) I rented a storage locker to fit all the CDs. (laughs) Help me. (laughs) CD. (laughs) Oh, well. So you guys are playing Undertale then? Yeah. I'm doing a review on it, actually. Oh, you're going to review on it? That's cool. How much have you played of Undertale? Uh, me personally, I played, uh, I did one playthrough of it, mm-hmm. and now I'm going through it again just to get some footage for the review. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm still enjoying it once more, so it's, uh, I'd say about hours, I'd pr- I probably played about eight hours of it. It's not a particularly long game, mm-hmm. uh, but I think it's, it's, it's good. It's a good shorter game. What? It's action packed. So your first playthrough, what kind of uh, run did you did? Passive run, murderous run, or okay? <laughs> I, well, it, a bit of a mix. Uh, you, you know the, the goat mom person. I forget her name at the start. Toriel. I call her goat mom. Ariel, yeah. Uh, Toriel. 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 <laughs> Toriel. Goat mom. Don't hit me. <laughs> She's a dragon. Thank mom. you very much. Uh, okay, dragon, dragon mom. Then uh, I accidentally killed her at the start the first time around. Um, uh-huh. because I didn't know how to get through, cause you have to like, you have to fight her at the beginning, and I'm like, how do you get through this? So, uh, I ended up killing her by accident, uh-huh. uh, which I do regret, but <laughs> either way, you know, what happens, happens. Uh, so, but then after that, I went through the entire game not killing a single other person. I refrained myself. Mm-hmm. But this time around, I'm going no kills, no, no goat mom kills. <laughs> it's, it's completely pacifist. Wow. Did you know that you need to mercy her about 20 times or 30 times, something like that, just to get her? I think it's 100. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm... <laughs> the hyperbole is strong with this one. Mm. But no, I, it's a lot, though. <laughs> wow. I feel that when I 
if I do play Undertale, I I can't play the psychotic run. No, that's not my style. You you, you have you have to have no soul. <laughs> you really do. Yeah. Or don't rather. Like most of them are just cool. Like you can just belly rub the puppy knight. <laughs> oh. You mean the lesser dog and the bigger dog? Yeah. <laughs> <They're> just... <laughs> Yeah, that part when we discovered the greater dogs, like, oh, it's a puppy! Mushroom from the snow, like, well, now it's a bigger puppy. Yeah, then it feels fun. Look like... at the little puppy! <laughs> now look at the big puppy! Wearing, uh, like, full battle armor, too. <laughs> oh, oh wow. But yeah. I Tem, Tem, Tem is just awesome, like, Tem wants to go to college. Hoi! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I actually paid for her college. <laughs> you did that. <laughs> I was oh, wondering what would happen. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, personally, for me, I, I I didn't play it, but I watched an LP of it via proxy, so I seen everything. I think. Okay. Well, you you say that like one let's play though. I think it doesn't really um, give you the full experience. I think you have to at oh, least yeah. do two. And if you do another one, it is probably recommended that, like, let's say if you did Pacifist the first time around, try doing, uh, the, uh, what's it called? The genocide one? Genocide yeah. round? But yeah, try to no do the mercy that. run, thank you very much. <laughs> or no mercy. Whichever wow. one you want to call it. Uh, you know what I mean. That's wow. what Toby uh, tweeted. He politely asked us not to call it genocide, but no mercy run. Okay, no mercy run then. Yeah, that sounds Hashtag a lot better. Hashtag Toby said. Hashtag respect the author. Hashtag yeah, thank yeah. you. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag. But honestly speaking, like for me, I I can't play a game like that twice. Like knowing there's a good and evil side, I just can't. I always pick the good because even with Mass Effect, I know there's a a Paragon and Renegade run. I just can't go Renegade. I I have to go Paragon all the way. You just feel bad, right? Like, I know. <laughs> like uh, I remember, I I this was a while back playing Fallout Three. Um, I played it the first time around, just being like the nice guy, you know, yeah, and I, I smile at everybody with that award-winning smile of mine. <laughs> um, then I tried doing a second playthrough of just being like the meanest individual in the world. Uh-huh. And I actually struggled to get through that. It was actually tough because I had to make all these ethical decisions that normally I would just wouldn't do. Uh, <laughs> but I'm telling myself, like, oh, I got to be the bad guy here. So <laughs> I, w- I would have to do the really neat, mean and nasty things. And that was actually tough to go through. I actually found it difficult to go through. Yeah, I so, know yeah. what you mean. I know what you mean. The only game that I don't blink an eye to that is Grand Theft Auto or Saints Row. Oh, yeah, that, those are just guilty pleasures. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay, what do you want me to do? Oh, okay. Just, no. Evil. Evil all the way. I don't mind. someone in cold blood? Oh, okay. <laughs> the money's good. <laughs> uh, Grand Theft Auto. Uh... But anyway, let's let's get back on track. We're a pony show, not a gaming show. I do wish we can talk about games. Well, we just did. <laughs> oh, yeah. But still. That's the NBS show discussion for... We talk about other things than ponies. And probably ponies. <laughs> uh, but still, but still. So, you guys remember the show Mythbusters? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, I love that show, man. Like, remember that one episode where they did the whole James Bond thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> They've done a lot of stuff. Um, oh, yeah. Aren't they actually closing up shop now? I think they already did. Like I if seen, not already. Yeah, I seen a picture of um Adam Savage posting on his uh was it Twitter or Facebook or whatever it is about him closing shop, like moving yeah. everything. Like oh, that's sad. But yeah, apparently, a uh, quick thing. Apparently, Jamie and Adam. Apparently, they didn't even like each other. Really? Uh, yeah. Apparently, they. <laughs> They had a respect for each other, but they didn't actually like each other. Like they, <laughs> they were friends. They never talked outside of the show. Like they, they just, it was like, I, I read this in an article, uh, maybe a month ago or so. Mm-hmm. And it actually just blew my mind because watching the show, you would expect them to be the best of buddies. But then you re, you find that out like, Oh, actually they really just don't like each other. They don't agree with a lot of things. And, and, and I mean, I was just floored by that. Anyways. <laughs> So, well, they're not friends, okay? I mean, that's not strange. Some people are just only friends at work. That's normal. Well, I mean, really, they were just friends on the camera. Like, they didn't, like, if the camera was turned off, I I think they actually mentioned that they had a lot of heated arguments and disagreements, uh, which was just really surprising. Some people are really set in their ways, and they're one of those people. But anyway, 
recently Adam Savage just posted on his Twitter about something about him being at some kind of show and he tweeted he had ponies on stage. Yay? <laughs> or nay. <laughs> uh, so, wait, do you think he's a brony or just trying to, you know, be funny? Well, where did he get the figures from? Because I'm looking at the picture now, and it's it's two figures on a stage, which seems to be completely filled with an, a huge audience, taking up every single seat. Uh, where did he uh, get the figures, then? <laughs> or that could be a Buster's family. Oh. <laughs> Buster, the ragdoll guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, could be. I mean, it, can't it might help be like... the quality of the picture. <laughs> uh, yeah. But still, it's it's one of those things where... They're just derping. Like, Adam loves those, uh, what you call this, ducks or something like that? Ducks? You know, those um, squeezy ducks that make funny noises. Oh, the, the rubber duckies! <laughs> yeah, them. <laughs> like, he loves them a lot. Okay, so, I mean, yeah, well, I don't know if these are technically rubber duckies. Maybe they do make a funny noise if you squeeze them, but... I don't um, think so, but... Who still. knows? <laughs> Yeah, but at least they're not rubber chickens, so yeah. So do you do you think he's a brony then? I don't know. It's one of those situations where evidence is not strong with this one. Yeah, it's it's just one picture. Um, mm-hmm. it, it's hard hard to make any uh, you know, how how do I say it? Uh, statement. Statements. There we go. The S word. <laughs> it's hard to make any statements about it. It is just one picture. Uh, it could be just a joke. Who knows? But uh, he he might still enjoy the show. And I, I like to think so. <laughs> Some people do. Or, people do. S- or someone hacked his account and posted that picture. I don't. Think I mean, if so. this was a if this was a MythBuster, where's the dynamite? Where's uh, the explosives? True. Inside an indoor stadium with thousands of people, guys. <laughs> Well, no, you, you gotta, you Did gotta. Did that ever uh, stop the Mythbusters? <laughs> yes. Yeah. There is a serious lack of dynamite. Maybe it's, um, may, maybe the, behind the camera, there's just piles and piles of dynamite. Oh, uh, probably. But anyway, talking about, uh, dynamites and rubber chickens and whatnot. Where all? He's relevant, yes? Yeah, he's, he's relevant. He wants relevant. to come back. Yeah, it looks like it because, um, someone on the Facebooks messaged him and said that, uh, I'm just paraphrasing here, and he visited Australia, loved his show, and you know what, I'm not doing just this. Ro, why don't you read this one? Loved your parody music since I was a kid, but seeing your guest star on My Laponia's Cheese Sandwich was the icing on the cake. My question is, do you plan on making another appearance on the show? It would be amazing if you did. Also, thanks for coming to Australia. I would love to see you with all my friends if I could. And Weird Al replied, I'd love to go back to MLP. All they have to do is ask me. I hear rumors of an MLP movie. Maybe Cheese Sandwich should be in that triple dot question mark. Ooh, and only one favorite. One favorite? <laughs> Just one for now. That's all that's needed. The statement's been made. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Weird Al wants to come back to the show, whether that be through the movie or maybe a future episode. He looks like he's really... um. He he really wants to go back, you know. That's true. That's really good. I mean, I'd, I'd like to see Cheese Sandwich back. He was a fun character. Yeah, I mean, I've see, uh, we've seen him on the what you call this show, and he had well, he was a pretty awesome guy. He was pretty awesome in his uh, cameo, and yeah, I want him on. Like, just imagine the movie songs. Like, the potential is just endless. <laughs> A new feature film. <laughs> oh, yeah. Imagine that. Yeah, he did UHF. He did a few shows. Like, come on. He's perfect. Oh, yeah. He would, he'd fit any role, really. Any, like, comedy role. So, yeah, yeah, coming I... back as cheese sandwich in, in, like, the movie or... I don't, this is the thing, though. For the movie, they probably already have it in production by now. Mm-hmm. Or at least, like, they're, they're making it and they probably got the story all fleshed out and everything. Yeah. Adding a new character in, especially one like this, would probably be kind of tough. Uh, so... Movie, probably not. He might not get in the movie, although I would love to see that happen. Mm-hmm. I would probably suspect that Cheese Sandwich would come back in a return for a mm. future episode. Uh, I do, I can see that. I can see that because, well, uh, season five, we got Coco Pomel back, so why not yep. Cheese, right? Yeah, exactly. There's, there's so much potential and so much opportunity for this character to make a return. 
Um, well, we'll see how that goes, though. We, we don't really know too much yet. Obviously, this is just one statement by Weird Al. Uh, mm-hmm. So we'll have to see how that develops. But it is very nice to know that at least he's still on board and he wants to do more things with the show. True, true. Recently, i seen a video uh, where he played Dark Side. Dark Side? From the DC comic. Remember him? I really don't. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, Look at me. Let me give a second. I'm going to Google because Darkseid is a pretty awesome guy. He can go toe to toe with Superman. I'm sorry, I don't know much about this DC comic stuff. <laughs> ah, it's okay. It's not everyone's cup of tea. But Darkseid, let me More see. Darkseid, yeah, true. Okay. Uh... There you go. Picture there. Take a look. See. Yeah, Darkseid. Essentially, what he is is something akin to Thanos in the Marvel Universe. He's pretty... This guy needs to try out for the football team. <laughs> oh no, he, he can go toe-to-toe with Superman. Like, he can take Superman's blow with... with Like, it was nothing. So, yeah, he's strong. Really, really strong. So, yeah, Weird Al played him. Wow. I mean, Weird Al, Weird Al is a pretty strong guy, I imagine, too. Yeah, like, uh, in the recent, what you call this, uh, Teen Titans Go, he played Darkseid, and yeah, that was pretty awesome. Like, way cool, man. <laughs> way cool. Yeah. So he can be a super villain and stuff, like, oh god, uh, me just explaining it won't do it justice. Like, you guys, if you have the chance to watch the, uh, well, recent Teen Titans Go, just go watch it. It was pretty fun. Much fun. And just go watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we uh, go. Yeah. But yeah, that's, uh, that's where else. So he did a lot of roles. And if I'm not mistaken, he also did a few Transformer roles too, back in the days. Like really? the most notable, yeah, I think the most notable one is the classic Transformers movie. I think he plays some junkyard robot. <laughs> and they use one of his songs, Dare to be Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he could have played Op- Optimus Prime. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. no. Uh, Peter Collin um, has that one. And in yeah. a recent, I think, I forgot which one was it, but he does a lot. Like, where else he does a lot? So, yay. He, oh, yeah. He, he, he loves uh, doing VAs. So if someone just asks, he'll be there. Not many people are, like, especially big celebrities, are willing to actually jump into random other projects and other opportunities so quickly. And I think Weird Al is sort of an exception to that, where he's well-known, but he's also willing to just jump into anything if he thinks that the role is nice and the role is fun. True, true. And also at the same time, like, not many huge celebrities would lend their voice to a character. And Weird Al is one of those people who, like, yeah, I don't mind, as long as the paycheck's nice. (laughs) Yeah, that's the bottom line, too. Like, uh, how good is the money? Yeah, the money is obviously an important factor, too. Um, definitely something to consider. I wonder how much they're paying him. <laughs> well, I don't want to speculate on that because, well, as a, as the Joker once said, if you have a talent for something, why give it for free, right? Yeah, yeah, don't... Um, never mind, I, don't, I think you said it right. <laughs> Did I paraphrase it, but yeah. Yeah, the Joker is actually a, a, a stern businessman. <laughs> yeah. Everyone knows. <laughs> yeah, talk about his fish business back in the days. <laughs> <laughs> it's something fishy. <laughs> uh, but still, where else, like uh, he said, if Hasbro were to ask him again, probably he'll be on. <laughs> and they need to discuss. Well, yeah, they're going to have to, there's going to be a lot of talking. There's also, you have to find a way to implement the character. Unless, of course, he does a completely different character, which um I don't think a lot of people are really looking at that opportunity, whether he just jumps in as a completely different character, not necessarily based around his personality. Mm. But we'll see. No, I don't think that will be the case because, like, for cartoon shows in general, they tend not to blow their budget on uh, the same guy doing a different voice. Like, they have a working Well, not necessarily formula. a different voice, but like a different character or yeah, something. Yeah, but you still, know, right. like, but still, they won't do that because Weird Al's voice is kind of, um, iconic. True. So if he were to play another role, like, wait, isn't that cheese sandwich? What happened? Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, they, they don't want to do that just for, for consistency sakes. Like, if they were to do that, they probably call in another person to voice Peter Collin, maybe? 
probably someone cheaper anyways. <laughs> no, like if they blow their budget, it's usually for something big. Like, um, who was that girl they got on the recent pony thing? Oh, wow, I'm dripping. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Lena Hall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lena Hall. She's pretty awesome. If I do remember, she's a uh, Tony or what winner was it? I forgot. But she is a really good singer. She sings really good. She would have to be a pretty good singer considering the role. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! Well, I need to talk about the episode soon. Like, yeah, that episode is fun. Yeah. So well, that's the news for this week. We got <laughs> we got just two news, <laughs> uh, which is kind of sad. It happens. Sometimes they're slow weeks, but that doesn't mean that the next week won't be better. We'll have to see because uh, we're starting the hiatus now. So oh there's, no! Yeah. So there's no new there's no new pony episodes. So we have to do what we can. Yeah, everyone's just gonna have to start watching my videos. Oh no! <laughs> oh God, save our soul! No! <laughs> no, uh, humanity doesn't deserve that fate. No, yeah. they do, they do. Your videos are awesome, man. Your videos yeah. are awesome. People are just asking, when are you going to post them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, uh, do you guys want to talk about anything else? Like, we had fun talking about Undertale. You want to talk about that one more? Some more? What more should we add to the Undertale discussion? I don't know. Like, the music's awesome. Uh, it's becoming yeah. the next Homestuck. Really? Are it's you real. seeing all the comics, animations, music? It's exploding all over the place. The internet is overloaded with Undertale. Everything. <laughs> uh, true, I've seen a few. And you know what? I'm surprised by how the spoilers came out slowly. Like, when I said I watched a let's play of the game, I've watched the two best friends play the game. And they did a pacifist run. So, when I was on Tumblr and everywhere... The spoilers that came out was in conjunction to what they're playing. So it's like, huh, that's interesting. Yep, 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 yep. Ro, how long have you been playing? Like, have you played the whole game till finish or? I played the pacifist run and no more. And I clocked, uh, what was mid hours? Uh, hold on there with me. 15 hours. 15 hours. Wow. Man. Yeah, I already knew what I needed to do and that's what I did for the rest, for the entire path and playthrough. <laughs> So, I mean, not no major spoiler. I just knew, I just knew the basic. Pass this run, nobody gets hurt. Nobody. <laughs> that's the only <laughs> thing that I knew. <laughs> and that's all right, story. everybody. Nobody's gonna die, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, I was like, like, hello, game. I'm just gonna walk by and no one gets hurt. <laughs> well, that oh. sounds less sinister in my head than I said that out loud. But moving on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, no one gonna get hurt. See. <laughs> yeah, no, see? Most people, no one's gonna get hurt. I'm not here for anything, just but yeah, just stay calm. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody move a muscle. I won't shoot. <laughs> I mean, the yeah. reason I, I mean, the game was pretty much short. The reason I have 15 hours is because there were a few things I couldn't figure out, like that one door, that one forest, and then there was this guy. <laughs> yeah, there were yeah, a few yeah, things yeah. that I just gave up on. I was like, you know what? Forget this. I'll go watch yeah. a video on it later. <laughs> There were some, uh, some things that certainly stumped me as well. Um, and, and, you know, I had to look online just to see <laughs> how, how to get through it because I'm like, come on, I want to go through. <laughs> so, who are your favorite characters? Um, me personally, I, I really loved, uh, Sans and Papyrus. <laughs> Sans and Papyrus are awesome. They, they're, they're the best. Uh, I just love, uh, Sans and Papyrus because of their font. <laughs> their font? Yeah, you don't notice them? Uh, well, I mean, I, I noticed that there, there's text. Why do they, do they actually have different font than other characters? Yes. Sans has know. Comic Sans and Papyrus well, yeah. has Papyrus. Okay, I didn't know Papyrus was, uh, I, I knew Sans was like Comic Sans and there's a whole bunch of different, like, Sans fonts. But I didn't know there was actually, like, a Papyrus font. Oh, there is, there is. I, I know that's like, um, Egyptian paper, I think, is called Papyrus. I think so, but. Yeah, I do remember that um Papyrus is just because, like, if you notice his text from other characters, he's different. Like, he's unique because of, well, the game designer wanted to make it that way. And Papyrus is, is just so cool. <laughs> yeah. Ro, what about you? I like them all. Yeah, Except for that annoying dog who stole that artifact that I still couldn't get. 
<laughs> what was that all about? I don't know. I finally, after so many hours of trying to solve the piano puzzle, I solved it, found the artifact, and I couldn't pick it up. I was like, I know you got too many annoying dogs in your inventory. Like, what? <laughs> Look at my inventory. An annoying dog is fast asleep. Like, when did this happen? Like, I put the dog on the floor to pick up the artifact. That son, little fluffy son of a gun wakes up, God, sits on the artifact, devours it, and it just flows into the distance, into the abyss. And like, what just happened? Nobody like, knows. Several seconds later, I scream, Toby! <laughs> the game, I really. swear to notch that the game developer is probably making, made the, probably the biggest troll face out there <laughs> with that freaking <laughs> idea. Probably there's a reason behind it, probably. No, there isn't. I did not see, well actually I, no, did I ever see that dog? Yes, I did see it a few times, but, ah, that dog. <laughs> uh, so no favorite characters then? I love all of them. We, I just said I love all of them. I love Undyne, I love Alphys, I love, uh, His Majesty Asgore. <laughs> if, uh, you mean he, I mean he has a nice beard. That's true. Uh, Alphys is interesting. Adam trash waifu. Oh yeah, my claim waifu is I have the shopkeeper waifu. That's the shopkeeper in the Snowden. Point with the spear waifu, that's Undying. Anime trash waifu, Alphys. Uh, tutorial waifu, that's Toriel. And let me see anyone. Oh yeah, keep constantly shaking waifu, that's Tammy. Uh, Wait, Tammy's a girl? I assume she is. I thought it was well, a again, that's me. Well, again, bro, that's me. I assume everyone's a girl on the internet until proven otherwise. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a dangerous game to play. Yeah, it's supposed to be the other way around. Yep. I mean, I know it's the other way around, but, you know, subconsciously I'm hoping it's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like yeah. I said, ladies and gentlemen, I don't have a girlfriend, so... Uh, so yeah, let's see. Did I forget anyone? Let's see. One, two. Uh, me- uh, yeah, Metaton is out of the list because it's confirmed it's a guy, and you know. <laughs> what? You're not interested? Uh, no. Look at the sexy legs, yo. Yeah, the, those legs—they I mean, go on fun. forever. <laughs> I mean, the legs are nice, but uh, then again, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, it's okay. No one will blame you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to remember if I'm not forgetting anyone. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Then I went there. Then I saw that. Then I spoke to him. Then I went over there. Then I saw that. Uh, yeah, no, we're good. That's all the waifus. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I just like Elphys because Elphys is one of those. No, Elphys and Undine. Like, Elphys is. Undine. Uh, uh, Undine or Undine? Undine. Thank Undine. you very much. You say Undyne, I say Undyne, whatever. Tomatoes, so, tomatoes. Yeah. So, uh, Elphys is one of those people who like anime, like, she knows the world via anime. And Undyne, like, she goes for the sword and the whole spear thing just because of anime. <laughs> if you watch one of those scenarios where, uh, Elphys says like, oh, anime is not real, she goes like, what? <laughs> anime is real, right? <laughs> anime is real, right? <laughs> It's gotta be real. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? Yeah. So, that was awesome. Like, honestly, the Undertale is a game that you can only play, in my opinion, once. You can play it twice. I, I think once you get past twice, though, then you are starting to push it. I think there's three endings, to be honest. Like, yeah, yeah, there are three endings, three. but I think you've, uh, I think you've gotten the gist of the game. Mm-hmm. If you've played it, at least, if you play it once, you've certainly gotten Almost the full experience. I think if you play it twice, those are that's for the more um, really hardcore fans, the ones that really want to know everything about the game. I think if you play it three times or more, it, you start to just not find anything new with it. And the game also knows if you played it multiple times. Does it now? Yeah, it does. I've heard about this, but I've never actually seen it in action. So how, how does that work? Um, one of the situation is like if you say you play the pacifist run. And you go for the No Mercy run. They notice. That's right. Um, if I think, I think, yeah. If you go for the No Mercy run after you played the Pacifist, they will notice. Like, oh, you're just doing this because you want to see uh, what's changed. <laughs> like, they will notice, and that's scary oh. and spooky. That, that's kind of cool. It, it, they kind of know it. That's that's really neat. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. Undertale, it's a pretty fun game. It's on Steam if you want to get it. Like, yeah, it's pretty cheap. Was it? Yeah. How much was it? $10, I think. 
10 bucks. Wow, still cheap, yo. Like, if you get the chance to buy it, go ahead. Really cool, really cool game. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, the, the song's awesome too. And, and the gameplay wise, like, besides the RPG element, the real game is during the battle. Like, that is different. Oh yeah, and they change it up all the time. So even though it's the same gameplay mechanics and you're, you're pretty much doing the same thing, but it always feels different. Yeah, because if I do remember right, like, do you remember those bullet hell, like Ikaruga and all those kind of games? Uh, I never played them personally, but. Oh, but you <laughs> heard of him, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, it's a, it's almost like a bullet hell game, like, damn. Yep, yep, yep. Who would have thought? Seriously. Still, Rose played it, Ty here played it, so it's one of those situations where, go buy it. Yeah, you, you certainly, it's one of those games you really want to experience for yourself. While watching a Let's Play is nice, you, you really want to play it for yourself before you actually watch a Let's Play. And also, if I do remember right, it's one of, Game of the Year for an award, like, um, what was it called? The Game Awards 2015, yeah. Let me hand it a Murrock. Why, what? Okay, I was on Twitter one beautiful morning, I turned around to groom my beard, and the next thing I know when I turned back around, the entire Twitter exploded. What just happened? <laughs> like, okay, I went off to Twitter, stranger danger, stranger danger, out of this house, out of this house. What, you <laughs> actually left your house, really? No, I was quoting John Tron. Oh. <laughs> I was holding the cross so in front of my mom. I was like, out of this house, out of this house, mean spirits. <laughs> why Why did you even pay attention to that? It was all on my Twitter. I followed only like kitten uh, blogs, food picture blogs, comic book artists. And the next thing I know, all this. I have <laughs> no idea how this happened. It was just like out of nowhere. It was like an avalanche. <laughs> Oh, horrible. no, you can actually see an avalanche coming and probably have a good chance of dodging it, but that was beyond dodge. It was like a bullet. <laughs> Bang. Honestly speaking, I didn't really notice. I didn't really even care. I don't I have a Twitter. Really <laughs> <laughs> but I have no idea what those games of words were, are, and I don't really care, but I know, I just know it exploded everywhere after I discovered that the Konami did not let, did not let Kojima have his award. Well deserved award because of this contract or some kind of bureaucratic nonsense. So yeah, the entire internet, Twitter especially, exploded. That was something I'd expect to see on Tumblr, but nope. Of all the places, it was Twitter. Did you Twitter and controversy? No. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> we we're not talking about that. Like we've run, of course. And before we go, we got a letter. Yay! Woo! Oh, who's that guy? Oh, it's James. Hey James, what did, what are you doing here? Like, where were you in the previous recording? I managed to escape the prison. <laughs> oh wow! I managed right. to escape the dungeon. <laughs> I crawled uh-huh. myself out of the window. Oh, I heard another voice. Who's that? Oh, uh, that would be me, the guy who built a window into our dungeon. It's very ergonomic. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> He's oh, after wow. me. I have to run. So, if you're hearing this part, this this part is really strange because, well, we're recording this in the future while the previous thing we did was done in the past so yeah because all the reason why is because we got this wonderful email and since the show has email times before but nobody really sent any emails now so because emails so we got an email and we need to address this on this week's episode because this is just awesome and i nominate silver to read the email because he has the beautiful angelic voice yes the angelic voice go go gadget (laughs) Mm. All right. So here, here's the. Uh, do we want to say who this is from? Yeah, sure. This email is from CRC Brony and says, "Dear MBS Show co-hosts, I'm a big fan of your podcast. And enjoy listening to it very much. You guys are awesome. I listen to your episode every Wednesday night when I work, and every Saturday morning on my paper route with my mom, who also finds you guys amusing. I found you guys through iTunes when I was having people over, ignoring the crowd and just blowing the time." Out of my meaningless life, Raspberry Face. I was a bit skeptical at first, but really liked it afterwards. So I decided to listen to another episode, and I loved it again, and so on. This show helped me make tough decisions, like, should I hit my brother today or tomorrow? And keep me busy when I got bored. You keep me updated on all the pony stuff in the world, which can be really awesome or annoying because there's too much. You make me laugh, smile, and scream at the top of my lungs. Not usually, though. And so, questions. Who are you going to have as a guest on the show next? Is Kyle going to be coming back? 
Do we want to answer that now? Uh, sure, why not? As for guests, that's a hard one since it's near the holidays and people are kind of in the holiday mood, so people tend not to want to come. But I'm sure we can find someone who's willing to come. I'm very well, sure. It, if it's the holiday season, then perhaps we should try to get St. Nicholas. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. He, he's a hard guy to get. Like, he's busy. Last time I oh. heard he was kicking some butt <laughs> over there with the rest of the Guardians. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, what about the Krampus? Can we get him? Oh, uh, not sure. Ooh, yeah, let's get the Krampus. He's a lot of fun. Yeah, probably. We'll see, we'll see. And as for Kyle, I'm sure he'll be back soon. Like, I just need to give him fair warning. If he's free and available, he'll be back. And then concerns. I'm concerned that this podcast is too awesome for this world. You should stop <laughs> it. No, we, we no, try. you cannot stop the, po- you cannot stop the podcast. <laughs> Once you get on the workflow, it's impossible for you to stop it. I tried to, but it's hard. Sweetie Bot is not letting me stop. She's a harsh mistress. I know. A harsh mistress, that Sweetie Bot. Suggestions. You should try to get Sugar Dove back on. I like her. <laughs> yeah, we, we should. We should. We really should. I agree. Yeah, the only reason why I didn't, because I heard she was pretty busy, so I didn't. But I should give her a ring, see if she's available. I told with her more often than not. I should let her know that we want her back in the podcast. Mm. Good. She has know. been very busy with the Highland Bronies uh, and the Midnight Scribes podcast as well. Plus, she's also been having a bit of trouble with her computer. Mm. But we're gonna try and get her again. She's going to. She's definitely gonna have to make a comeback. Yep, yep. We're gonna celebrate it with fireworks and confetti. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And to close it off, you have an amazing show here. I've been listening to you guys ever since May thirty first, twenty fifteen, and don't plan on stopping. Thank you for all the good times you gave me, and I will never forget them. And I'll listen to you on the next podcast. <laughs> P.S. Hope you all survive this hiatus. Oh, well, we're trying. <laughs> it is a struggle every brony must face eventually. But it's fine if you watch other things besides MLP, of course. You're going to be okay. There's so many other things to watch and then be entertained with. True, true. Oh, speak for yourself, amigo. I've, uh, they all seem to be hitting their season finales for me. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I, just, I well, just watched the t- end of Doctor Who. What? Yeah. Well, the ta- this season anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Or or the series finale. Mm. Look at Gravity Falls. Oh Oof. wow, that's a hard I one. I haven't watched episode one yet. <laughs> Same here, my friend. Wow, you you don't watch Gra- you haven't watched Gravity Falls? I'm not made of time, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I don't. It's it's not. I don't mean it like that. It's like you are literally the first person that like the both of you, the first guys that I know of that haven't watched Gravity Falls yet. Everybody else that I know has. Now, now I feel special. Now I, I feel like, like, oh, look at that. I'm not the only one who doesn't catch up with that show. But you know what? We have a special show that we are trying to do just for that reason. Uh, and it's called the MBS Show Discussion. It's available on the YouTubes. So if you're hearing this on the iTunes, um, you should check out our YouTube page because we also do a few things there too. So on the discussion show, it's more loose with our content. Uh, we talk about whatever we want. On the first discussion show, we talk about Princess Twilight. And on the second one, we talk about Destiny the Taken King. And, well, probably the third one, we'll talk about other things besides ponies. Or probably we'll talk about Spike. Spike needs the loving, too. Oh, the Spike. But yes, we have lives outside of ponies. Appearances to the contrary. True, true. So, yeah, I've mentioned it on previous shows. If you have any suggestions for the discussion show, do let us know. We'll try and integrate it in. Because uh, there was one suggestion that wanted us to talk about the Littlest Pet Shop comics. So, yeah, if it goes well and if we like it, we might carry on. Because if I'm not mistaken, that comic is only five issues long. Huh. Mm -hmm. I think I'll end it here and give my past self the ropes to end the show. And we'll see you on the next episode, I guess. Bye. I I don't want to go back to the dungeon. No, you're going in. You're going in. (laughs) You're on your way, Sonny. (laughs) Off you go. Hey, Oh, oh, no. <laughs> so anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbshowgmail.com and you can also reach us on the Twitters. Oh my god, the controversy. <laughs> uh, you can reach SweetieBot at the MBS show. She tweets about the show and, well, if you've got anything to talk to her about, ask her, like, yeah, there. 
You also can reach me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. And yeah, I, I'm not into the video game awards. I just know it's there. <laughs> what about you, Ro? You can find me on my Twitter, where we're not, where we don't tweet about game awards or any awards in general, but just happy fun times and positive vibes, at Relicious underscore art, or my DeviantArt gallery at Relicious.DeviantArt.com, or my ReliciousGalleries.Tumblr.com, where we reblog amazing artists' creations, comics, music, fanfics, and other art, forms of art. So do take a look at that. <laughs> Give the other artists some love. All right. All right. <laughs> What about you, Ty? Well, you can always find me on YouTube, youtube.com slash Tyndega. As well, you can always find me on DeviantArt. Uh, that's just DeviantArt slash Tyndega Art, all one word. And you can also find me on the Facebooks. Ooh, yeah. Facebooks. Yum. Facebooks. That's right. <laughs> uh, links are going to be in the show notes. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also, like my Facebook page. Haha, <laughs> we also have a Facebook page, the, the MBS Show's Facebook page. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best. You better go to it. If you, you can also catch us on PonyFreeLife.com. So, I have been Norman Sanzo. I'm Relicious Rhymes with Delicious. I- I'm Tyne Digga. And we'll catch you guys next week. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye. Peace.